Hey guys, this is Joy Universe, and in today's video, I want to show you how to do a SGC run slash arena run as a solo warrior. Now, the SGC run, I think, is probably the rare farming method where warrior have actually an advantage over other classes. They can do it faster. Um, I mean, at least not slower than other classes for sure. That's because our, a warrior have a pretty decent AOE damage and single target damage. Provided you have a good flask set to mitigate the damage taken, of course. And now to do the arena run, first you want to have a Shadow Forge key. Uh, if you don't have it, it's okay. You can run uh, from the other direction, but it's, but it's gonna take some time. Uh, and then after you open those two doors, you want to kill this fire elemental right here. Now I don't have good weapons, uh, as you can see from my gear, so uh, yeah, and and also messed up my keybinds a little bit, so pay attention, to, uh, pay no attention to that. So yeah, after you clean this uh, fire elemental, you want to run up to the stadium, then jump into the arena, uh, like right here. So I'm gonna change my keybind, yeah. Right here, because I usually play two-hand fury, and in this case, I have I have two one-handers. That's why I have to switch my keybinds a bit. So after you run up to the stadium, um, yeah, like I said, you want to jump into the arena, and then as long you don't step into onto the circle in the middle, you won't trigger the event. So you can use this um, moment to heal up and get ready for the trash mob. That's gonna spawn uh, in just a minute. Uh, like I said, you want to have a good flask set um, because depending on what kind of mob it spawns, it may or may not be very difficult to kill. Um, I would say the hardest mobs are scorpions, spiders, or snake worms because these mobs leave a pretty nasty debuff on you. And uh, yeah, before the door opens, you want to switch your flask set, uh, pop your flask, then switch to your normal gear. And I would suggest use a two-hander because it's mostly AOE damage. It's too far away. Uh, in this case, I'm getting a uh, little box, the scarabs. Uh, these guys don't cause too much trouble. Regardless of what kind of mobs you get from the gate, you want to drag them towards one side of the arena like uh, what I'm doing right here it's because you don't want to engage the second wave together with the first wave and they might overwhelm you in some cases so after you kill the first wave um, uh, depending how much health you have left you can either um, eat uh, or bandage up or engage the second wave right away like what I'm doing here And then after you charge in, you can also cast an intimidating shot uh, to um, scare away some of the mobs to re reduce the amount of damage you're taking. But yeah, overall it's pretty straightforward as long as you can um, you can heal up the damage they're causing to you. Uh, it's not not going to be too difficult. So just going to finish them up right here. And I believe this is the last one. Now, after you kill them, you want to run towards the right side. Uh, I mean, like the the east side of the arena, and you want to jump onto this rock right here. This is a safe spot, and you want to stay there because when the boss spawns, this safe spot allows you to not uh, engage in combat right away. You can take some time to. And make your decision whether you want to kill the boss or not. And since the boss is spawned is not Gorosh, the guy who dropped SGC, what I'm gonna do there uh, here is try to um, drop combat uh, with the boss so the door of the arena opens up. You can also choose to kill them if you like, but for me, I would say it's a waste of time because they don't drop anything too valuable, and you are uh, and. Sometimes you have to wait for the flask set to be ready again in order to engage them. 
after you shoot them with a bow or with a gun, you want to jump back onto the rock. This way, you should you should reset the combat and allows the door on the east side of the arena to open up. Uh, this method works for most bosses except maybe two of them. Uh, there's a warden, a warden, uh, I think the name is the Viscerator, and there's uh, an Ogre Magi. So for those two bosses, this method doesn't work too well because they have a pretty relentless range attack. So if you get a, a Viscerator or Ogre Magi as bosses, you might want to kill them or die to them and spirit walk back. Uh, after you drop combat from the boss fight, the door of the arena will open up. You can run out and uh, run out of the instance. Uh, there are two guards guarding the, uh, the entrance of this tunnel. You will have to get past them. Uh, usually what I do is I charge in, hamstring them, and then just try to run as far as I can. Like right here, I'm going to charge in. Yeah, you just uh, charge in, hamstring, and try to run towards the exit. Sometimes if you're unlucky, you might drag other patrolling mobs alongside with its two guards, like uh, what I'm doing in this video clip. Don't worry. If you get too many of them, what you can do is um, cast intimidating shot, so uh, so um, you can create some distance from these mobs. For the most part, they shouldn't cause too much trouble, but worse come worst, you can pop a major healing potion or using a life-giving gem. And you shouldn't die to these mobs. I don't think so. And once you're out, you can reset this instance until you get a, yeah, like you see here, until you get an instance where Gore spawns. Usually, an arena run lasts about 6 or 7 minutes. Once you get a Gorosh, that's when you, uh, I advertise in the world chat to see if there's any potential buyer. Now, Gorosh, he hits hard, but he doesn't have too much health. So what you want to do is stay in battle stance all the time. Uh, you can use your demo shot uh, and thunder clap. Then you can pop your retaliation, uh, thunder armor, and uh, he will be dead in no time. Yeah, oh, yeah, overall pretty pretty easy. Now in this video clip, I don't have a buyer, which is unfortunate because the SGC drops, which I will have to disenchant. Um, but in the run previous to this run, I think I sold my SGC for about 500 gold. So it really it depends on RNG. Sometimes you will get a buyer who is very interested in it, and sometimes you don't get serious offers. So that's the nature of business. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.